So biodiversity really is the fantastic minestrone of life that has evolved on this planet over the millennia. And it is through the variation of genetic code and the variation of species that life really draws its multiple identities and draws its strength. And because the ocean is the biggest uh, pool of biodiversity on the planet, the living ocean, it's alive. This is a system that is incredibly important to maintain and to protect the diversity that exists within it, because in that sense you're really protecting the integrity of life itself on the planet. Only 5% of the ocean has been explored by science. So that leaves 95% of the ocean that's essentially been unobserved by human eyes or by scientific equipment. And when you consider the amount of life that we've already found in the ocean, the amount of genetic variation, and the benefits that we receive from the life that we discover there, such as new drug therapies that have come out of sea sponges, and other discoveries that are just waiting to happen in the ocean, it really starts to make sense to conserve areas of the ocean, even if we haven't identified them directly as having essential life in them. These are areas that surely contain resources and value to the future on the planet. So dead zones uh, in the ocean are formed off the coasts, usually at the mouths of rivers and other watersheds from the interior. Through agricultural practices, a lot of nutrients end up running off into the ocean. These nutrients in turn uh, fuel algae blooms, and algae blooms then consume all the oxygen in the water, leading to hypoxia, which means there's not enough oxygen in the water for the fish and the other creatures, and they end up dying. Dead zones can be brought back if we stop putting the nutrients in the system that fuel the algae blooms. Just shy of 50% of the ocean is what's called the high seas, which means it's ocean that's outside of any nation's exclusive economic zone. And this area is largely unregulated, and uh, practices such as overfishing and dumping can happen with impunity on the high seas. Currently, the United Nations General Assembly is looking into providing a legal framework to protect the biodiversity of the high seas. And uh, there's been some early wins. We still have a lot of work to do.